civil war, poverty and weak government. Together they provide fertile ground for terrorism and Yemen need not be reminded of that. It's here that Umar Farooq Abdul Muttalab found backing for the failed bombing of a US plane on Christmas Day. We've taken action on, on dealing with uh, the, the, the location of uh, people in Yemen, trying to find out what actually happened in Yemen. And at the same time, we're strengthening our counter-terrorism activity. Mm -hmm. We haven't uh, been doing nothing for the last two, two years. In fact, uh, uh, we have been preparing for events uh, such as this. The attempted attack has now prompted the British and US governments to set up a joint counter-terrorism unit in Yemen. But as they do so, both countries have been forced to close their embassies in the capital Sana'a amid security concerns. Perhaps for good reason, this is the aftermath of an attack on the British embassy in 1999. The US embassy was targeted just 16 months ago. The intelligence operation will focus on the movement and training of insurgents displaced from their own countries, most recently from Saudi Arabia. They joined in with the, the Yemeni insurgents and they tried to have greater power as a combined unit. Now we're seeing al-Shabaab, the uh, Somali terrorists, coming over. And what they're all trying to do is advertise themselves as a very powerful group. But it's really bands that are being displaced from their own countries. Back in 2000, there was a stark warning about the strength of al-Qaeda in Yemen. A suicide attack on the USS Cole killed 17 American sailors. Allah! But fearing a backlash on the scale of Afghanistan after the 9-11 attacks, Yemen aligned itself closer to the Americans. But as they benefit from Western funding, some feel al-Qaeda operatives may simply move, making themselves someone else's problem. There are also other countries in a similar or same situation, countries like Nigeria, countries in the Zahel zone, countries like Somalia. What you really need is a comprehensive strategy because today it is Yemen, tomorrow it might be a different country. There is a perception, at least, that al-Qaeda is consolidating in Yemen in light of the botched Christmas Day airline attack. The aim will be to disrupt the organisation before it becomes fatally effective. Paul Harrison, Sky News.